I'm really excited about sharing a new skill with you today, and that's plastic welding. You see, I was at Princess Auto and I picked up a plastic welding kit, and it has everything you need in it to weld plastic together. You just have to figure out what type of plastic you have, and then look inside the kit and match that up to the rods that are in there. And in this case, it's HDPE, and I have that in the kit. Now, you'll see you have the gun that's in there. This is runoff of butane, so it's pretty good. You can pretty much take it anywhere you want to go and weld, but I do have a can of butane that I'll carry with me because it seems to run out quite quickly. This kit, as I was saying, costs about $80 from Princess Auto, and it's super easy to use. As you saw a second ago, you're just going to have to clean off all the dirt and debris off the top of the plastic before you weld it together. Now, I'm sure this isn't essential to the welding, but if you want a good weld, it's probably a good idea to do that. Not shown on camera on the first one, I did drag the tip a little bit down it to create a bit of a V pattern in it, and I did do a little spot weld to hold it together on the other side. Now that the gun's heated up to the right temperature, now that's kind of a trial and error situation. Too hot, it's gonna burn the smoke. Too cold, it's just not gonna work. It'll be, it'll be pretty obvious as you go. Another essential tool to the whole thing is probably having a set of side cutters as well. Because after you try welding one time, that plastic rod's not gonna quite go in there as well as you like it to, and it would just be easier just to cut it off, or I guess turn it around. You see, once I got that figured out, it went pretty smooth from there. You will kinda have to work the two hands in unison as you go around small angles and what have you. Just keep in mind that that tip is red hot, and you're not gonna wanna touch one of your hands to it, or you're gonna have a nice little burn mark on your fingers. Now keep in mind about two or three weeks ago I made this video and I'm now narrating it because I wanted to make sure that the welding job was going to hold up before I showed you something. Looking back on the job, as I said earlier, I think one of the successes that I had in this was actually dragging the tip of the tool through the crack and that way I get good penetration with the weld. If you're really worried about the crack actually continuing on, it's probably a good idea to get a drill out, find out where that crack almost ends and then put a drill hole in there. That nice round hole should stop the crack if you get it at the end of the crack. Or you can just weld a little extra after and hope you got it and maybe make a couple passes over it. Now, I chose a wheelbarrow as a project for two reasons. First reason, it's just a wheelbarrow and it doesn't matter how bad or good the weld's gonna look and it's perfect for practicing on. Second, I'm probably gonna abuse the wheelbarrow as most people do and that's gonna be the abuse test to see if this actually works. And like I said earlier, I've been using it for a little while now and it's worked out quite well. Hey, since you like this video, you might wanna check out the next video. In this video, I'm gonna make a plastic guard for a 14 inch Delta bandsaw. This is gonna be made out of regular black PVC pipe and I'll flatten it out and actually turn it into a usable and factory looking part.